Really quickly before the video starts, I just want to say that this might be a little bit confusing because of the way I explained it, but just bear with me. Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how I make my shirts on Roblox. Also, I just want to say that you have to have Roblox Premium in order to make shirts. Just putting that out there before I start. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to the description of this video. There's going to be a link to the Roblox shirt template. So you're just going to right click on the image and save it to your computer. Once you're done with that, you can just exit out of the tab. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go to the website called Pixlr. I'll leave a link to it in the description box. You're going to see a little button that says layers and there's going to be a little lock. So you're going to double click the lock and it should turn into a box with a check mark. What this does is it makes the image transparent. There's a long black tab at the top of the screen. Now you're going to go to the option that says layer. You're going to click on that and then you're going to click new layer. Now you can name the layers whatever you want to, but just so I can uh, keep things, you know, organized, I'm going to name the new layer that we just added color and the bottom one template. So now you're just going to go over to the tools on the left side of your screen and you're going to choose this little black box at the bottom. You're going to click on that and you're going to select a color that you want for your shirt. Once you've selected your color, you're just going to click OK. So you're just going to go up on the toolbox and you're going to click this little tool that says Marquee. It's like the second option. You're going to select that. Also, um, before we do anything else, just make sure that you're not on the template layer. Now, with your marquee tool, you're going to select where you want the color to be. Um, if you're doing a crop top, I would recommend that you do it halfway. If you're doing a boy's shirt, I would recommend that you um, select the entire torso. Once you're finished with that, you're going to get the little uh, bucket tool and you're going to fill in wherever you selected. So, now for the sleeves. So basically, what you're going to want to do is the exact same thing you did for the torso. So you go to the little bucket tool and you just fill in your selected area. So here I'm just cleaning it up. You obviously don't have to do this, but I like to keep my designs neat. So you're going to go to the top of the screen and there's going to be a row of options. You're going to click the one that says layer and you're going to click open image as layer. Right there. So now you just pick the image that you want on your shirt. I just chose this anime girl because I thought that it fit the color of the uh, shirt. So now you go to the little bar at the top of the screen that you clicked on earlier. You're going to click on edit and then free transform. And it should allow you to move the image however you'd like. And you can just place it wherever you want on your shirt. So once you've placed your image where you want it to be, you're going to go on the right side of your screen where it says layers and you're going to uncheck the shirt template. It should turn transparent like this. You're going to go to the top of the screen and you're going to click file. You can just exit out of Pixlr. So you go back to Roblox and you go to the top of the screen where it says create. Once you do that, it should bring you here. You're going to click on shirts on the little tab corner and you're going to um, upload the shirt here. You click to find the shirt that you just made um, and then you click upload. Now your shirt won't appear immediately. It does take time for Roblox to approve it. It usually takes like 20 minutes. Other than that, I do hope this video wasn't too confusing. I'm not the best at explaining things, but I do hope that you find this useful. And if you have any suggestions on what video I should make next, uh, feel free to comment your ideas. And thank you so much for watching.